Hey, Minecrafters, guess what? It's Kimmy Say, and I'm back for another episode of Kimmy Say Crap. How is everybody doing? I'm doing exciting, and it's going to be a great episode today. I am very happy to see you guys today, and I am very excited for what we're going to do. Or should I say, I really feel like completing some stuff today. It should be fun. So, without much more ado, let's talk about what's been going on in the server since I last saw you. Alrighty then, so okay, so let's go ahead and take a look around things. So first off, brand new house here. Guys, if you are missing stream on Sunday afternoons, you're missing some fun because we've been working on a new stream house right here and it is starting to look absolutely fabulous. I really like the roof lines on it, but I'm not going to get into much detail what this house right now because one, it's starting to get dark, the sun's going down, and two, I want to show you what else we're going to be doing today. Okay, sorry. Yeah, so basically, just a reminder, guys, um, we, we've been doing lots of building on stream, and this is just the latest stream house that we've put up, and we're going to be working on this this coming next stream. I think we have one um, tonight on Friday evening, as well as um, on Sunday afternoon. So don't forget, catch us on Twitch and everything. Now, um, what else has been going on is we've got, you know, the, remember, we did a road last episode, right? So that's right here. We probably might want to extend that out because we do have another house we're going to put up there, okay? But we didn't quite get to both houses. What we did is we did do, um, oops, we got a we got a green guy. Let's get rid of the green guy. What, what, where we left off last week is we went ahead and we did the downstairs walls, which I think turned out really good both in this house and in that house over there. And over there in that house, we actually went ahead and used some, I think, spruce? That's a spruce, right? Yeah, that's a spruce. Up there for um, siding and stuff. And I'm thinking that we're probably going to go ahead and do the same thing over here in this house. So we need to go ahead and go ahead and get some siding up on here and then start working out windows. So to goal today, what do we really want to do in this episode? Well, what we want to do, guys, is we want to do a couple of things. One, we want to go ahead and work on these two houses and get all the siding done. Go ahead and some get all the walls done, get all the windows done, um, work on the outside land. Landscaping, yeah, because we haven't even got to this stuff yet. Yep, haven't even got to this stuff yet. But make sure that we get all of our different areas right, and maybe even do some interior decorating. That would be tons of fun, right, guys? To do some interior decorating. So that is what we're shooting for, goal-wise, guys. We got a lot to do to catch all this stuff up. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and start working. As soon as I get something done, I will bring you guys right back in. Okay? This is Kimmy say. Be back in a minute. Hey guys, let's take a look around. I am back and what I've done is I've gone through both of our houses. Like I said, today is finishing these houses phase and I went ahead and did the basic, uh, and, and what we did is we went ahead and we made sure we did all the outside, got all the outside work done. We haven't done details yet, but we got all the outside work. So you notice we got the glass up, we figured out where all the windows are gonna be. We put the siding up, up here on the back here. We got windows there in our dormers, looking pretty nice over here. Um, well, nothing much happened over here, but that happens, right? Right. And then we got that nice place over here. Then over here, we went ahead and also added a porch out here because this one screamed porch right here. Because look at this view you have here. You got to have a place you can come out here and barbecue and sit down and relax, right? And then also, what else did we do? Oh yeah, oh yeah. You know, went ahead and solidified um, any other outside doors. Like we had another porch up here, so we went ahead and got this door open a little bit more. Went ahead and um, got windows going on then we went up to the top and got the window so that's looking pretty good pretty nice and then on um, the other house we were working on uh, we went ahead and figured out the size of the front door got some lamps on check it out so we went ahead and got glass going all up there this gives us some opportunities to maybe put some cool things on the inside not sure yet how that's gonna work but it should be good we went ahead and went down the stairs we went ahead and put windows where it makes sense depending on how we're gonna set this up obviously we got place for doors for the outside gardens there upstairs we went ahead and we got the siding in so you'll notice we have siding and windows all the way around the second floor right here looks really cool outside then we've got a third um, third 
set stairs with this really nice big open loft. I think that's what we're gonna keep, that's what we're gonna decorate this as. One big open loft with a nice bed area, maybe a big couch area, maybe kind of like said couches, so you're just sitting here staring off into the great views and everything. So I think that's how we're gonna go going going to do this particular one. I think it's going to look really, really great. You know, maybe we can do something with the roof, maybe do some stuff with the roof lines because we've got some cool roof lines in here. So very, very good guys. So there we go. That's step one in finishing these houses so we can go ahead and call them done. Step two. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get doors going and we're going to go ahead and start doing the outside. Okay. So we want to go ahead and start adding details to each house. So we're going to need things like, um, um, Oh, trap doors. We're going to be needing things like fence posts. We're going to be needing um, grasses and stuff like that because, especially here, we got garden areas where we're going to create a big front yard for this area right here. So, we might even get some animals up here. Okay. We also want to go ahead and get out here on the porch and start setting the porch up for a good time, whether it's this one right here or the one up there. And we want to start detailing the outside. So, guys, that's what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go ahead and get my detail cap on and we're we're going to go ahead and grab a few more things and we're going to detail the heck out of these two builds right now. So guys, can we say, let me go ahead and get to work. I'll bring you back once we get something done. Hey guys, so I am back and I'm taking a quick break from doing some outside detailing. So let's go ahead and take a look at what I've gone done so far. So first off, one of the first things I did is I went ahead and made sure we had paths both places. So I went ahead and laid out some cobble. I think we're going to come in here and throw in some gravel and some stuff um, to kind of give this more variation, but we throw some cobble. We went ahead and used some leaf blocks to kind of give us a pathway up here. It looks pretty nice. We went ahead and got the doors in. The doors are looking really sharp. Notice um, what I did to go ahead and help us with the doors is we changed these from walls to full blocks all the way up, a couple of stairs and full blocks down, and that allows the, the doors to fit fully in. We had to do that in both places right here. Did not get to the garden area. Still thinking about how I want to do this, but I did add lamps in and outside. We went ahead and added fences all the way around both of these garden areas up here on this house right up here and right over here got that all taken care of okay and then um, around outside the house um, this particular house what we did is um, I got some vines out and we had some vines to the side looking a little bit nice add some lamps up there on either side of those on the downstairs floors we had some shutters on the back windows there but we don't have very many front windows so that doesn't show off really really well but uh, yeah, it's okay, it's okay. So some basic details going all around, and I'm liking it, liking it quite a bit. Now over here on the left on the big house, okay, what we did is we built a custom fence around using some, um, some uh, some logs, some shaved logs, um, some berry bushes, some regular um, some regular leaves um, from spruce leaves, right, right, right. Some fence posts and some vines. I think they look really nice. It's a really nice thing. We went ahead and path blocked in, going straight to the front door. And the front door, we did the same thing. We added blocks in to help make it so the front door would close and shut using stairs as well as full blocks to do that. I think I, I like it. We went ahead and scattered a few more bushes, added another tree, you know. And um, yeah, you know, it's basic. You know, I think we can do it a little bit more. Like maybe if we can come up with the fountain design or something in here, I think that would look really good. Um, as far as other outside details, we went ahead and basically detailed out this one up here with some fence posts. And you'll notice on all the windows, we went ahead and put some shutters using some dark oak. And I think that's going okay. We still have, I think there's still a lot more things we can do to make this come alive. But as far as basic outside detailing, I think we've kind of done a, done a pretty good job. I'm pretty happy with that on both houses. So again, goal for today's episode is get as much done on these houses as possible. So here's where we're going to be next is I want to go ahead and get living rooms done for both houses. Okay, we're going to go ahead and get some couches. We're going to go ahead and get some paintings. We're going to get some other blocks and make some other features. This one, I think we're going to put the living space right down here. Okay, um, this one's a little bit tougher because of how much space we kind of lose like right here because of having to have a staircase because we have to, have, well, I mean, we have to have a staircase, you know. But, uh, and I could have made it smaller, but it wouldn't have really given us that much room back if we had made it too small. So we're going to keep this as like a nice big entrance area. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do a living area.
area right here and we're gonna go ahead and do a kitchen we're gonna do like a big open space kitchen with a table in the center and everything so that's how we're gonna work this room I think it'll turn out pretty nice once it's all said and done upstairs um, we've got two types of upstairs so we have this one and up here this one we're just gonna make one big loft so we so we do a living area with a bed area you know and everything that so you can just you know so it's like one big parent you know master area right up here down here I think what we'll do is we'll end up splitting this up into a couple different rooms uh, maybe like one one here one there one there maybe something like that leave this kind of like a landing or a or a loft room right here where you can come in there and so that's kind of what my plans are for this okay now if we go over to the other house which is a totally different floor plan, you know, purposely done that way. But if we go over to the other house, which has a totally different setup, we walk in and we have this area with these stairs and everything. We want to put some, maybe some really nice tall um, um, little indoor potted trees or something. I think that would look really good there. We come up here and we have this really, really big area in which we can do quite a few things. I'm thinking what I'm thinking what I would like to do is maybe do a big living area right over here do a big living area right over here have a big grand dining area right here in the center so when you walk in you got this big dining area right here and then we'll have like the kitchen kitchen area up here with maybe like a little bar area where people can come up and sit down i'm thinking about um just kind of like boarding this up and making this a library i think this would be a really cool neat little library nook up there and then we can go upstairs and the upstairs has a ton of room and we'll have one bedroom here one, maybe one bedroom here, maybe a nice another living area up here, which branches off to the outside living area, right? Maybe get a couple of um, seats here. And then we have one more area. I think we'll make this another big loft, big, big bedroom loft um, with a big seating area here, big bed here and everything. Just make it a really nice, um, you know, a, a really nice thing. You got a great view this way where you can see over a lot of the things we built over that way. And then you've got a really neat view which goes right out there. And you can even see the, uh, see some of um lights stuff out there. Or is it Blaze? I don't know. One of the other guys on the server built some stuff out there and you can, and you can see it from right here. So it's a really neat, really neat area. So that's what we're going to do, guys. I'm going to go ahead and gather materials because for these build, this part of the build, it's a bunch of interior stuff. Now, it doesn't mean we won't add more. I think we'll add a whole lot more to these as time goes by. But I think that's our main focus. That's what I like to get done before we head out on today's video. So that's the plan, guys. Let me go after it and then I'll bring you guys back in once we've got it done. Hey guys, I am back and I, we've been doing some work and so I just want to catch up with you. So my main goal was to kind of work on the living rooms and kind of, and get the um and get you know, at least the master bedroom loft area done. I don't have enough time to do the entire detail of the house, but let me show you what we got going on here. So basically, we made some basic couches. This is a really easy couch I like. You go ahead and wrap it in the wool color you want. And I like using white beds for the cushions because it kind of gives it a nice complete. So for here, we've got a simple couch, um, facing couch with a little table in the center. We've got a lamp. A nice lamp you can make that's really easy is throwing up a couple of end rods together. It puts out a lot of light. And then you can put whatever you want on top of it for the lamp if you want. So I think that looks pretty nice. We went ahead and start off a counter. So in this case, we're not going to have a big dining table because we're going to do the rest of our kitchen right in here. But I want to have a more of like an open open setting. Oh, we don't want to lose that. We want more of an open house setting. So we went ahead and set some chairs up here at the counter. And what we're going to do next is we're going to come in here. We're going to lay out our kitchen counters and our cooking stuff. And so that's one of the things we'll be getting to. Um, add some bookcases in here and stuff. And then up here, we went ahead and worked a little bit on the loft. So let's go ahead and take a look at how the loft turned out. Pretty happy with the loft turned out. Um, decided to take advantage of these really great picture windows and put a nice couch. See how we can do kind of like a L-shaped couch here with this and by keeping it white, um, the white pillows and stuff match up with everything up just a little bit better so they look like cushions. And I like it. Check it out. We can see that nice winter scene right there. Um, over here we went ahead and made a custom bed using um, the wool and some carpets for the, for the pillows and some around them with some trap doors, looking pretty nice. Add some um, bookcases and the lighting. I'm still not happy with the lighting. We'll probably come back in here and do some additional lighting work, but um, at least we got a start there. At least we got a start. Now let's go ahead and head over to the other place. 
Now, one of the reasons why I like using beds for couches is it gives you a great place to sleep when it's starting to get dark. Like, it's not quite yet, but I'm sure it'll get dark before we're done explaining everything. Now, if we walk in here, one of the challenges I have with this room is what to do with this space here. So if you guys got any ideas, if you build something and throw it online, I will definitely check once so you can go ahead and um, attach and send it to me Twitter or something like that. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah, look, we got a nice sunset out there. Isn't that pretty? That sun going down. Okay, so what I did is I started by setting up an entertainment center with some bookcases and slabs. We did a very nice U-shaped couch, and I think that turned out okay. We had room here for a nice large um, um, dining area, and we're going to add some more of this. we got to do some sort of centerpiece here that I think will look, would look really good. Now, up here is going to be for the kitchen, so this is going to be the kitchen area, and then we have our stairs going up here. I started where I went ahead and got a whole bunch of bookcases to start the layout for the library, so we're going to have a library up here. I really like the way this was starting to turn out up here, um, us with, with some holes, and, and using the... Um, using the yeah, what you gonna call it? Yeah, the the fence posts. Those actually kind of work out pretty well. But we still got some work to put up here. We got some desks to put in here, some cabinets and everything, get, make to make it look really, really nice. Um, yeah. Now something you can do. Let me show you this. Another trick you can do is we got some end rods right here, and so basically we could use some light here because otherwise, because you know you can tell as it's getting darker that we do got some dark spots here. Now, but of course, don't really like the way that's looking there. Okay. So what we can do is we can take some of the oak trap doors okay yeah let's use oak and let's see here there we go there we go oh, man I am having a hard time with these let's try this again Oh, terrible, 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 okay. There we go. And then we can go ahead and leave that up here. And that kind of works, we, we can, and then we can like, still get the lighting effect, you know? but then we don't have to worry. And that kind of looks like cabinets in there. Kind of looks like a detail now. So that's a, that's a way you can get some lighting in an area if you're still having trouble. Like for instance, you, when you're lighting up stuff, you, you want to always double check your lighting. Like right now, here in the darkness, we're getting a light level of, yeah. So you gotta check every block too, like we're getting some nines. Like over here, you'd think it'd be really cold, really, really not very light, but it's like a 12, so that's okay, you know? But then over here, Nine, yeah, exactly. And then coming down here, come down here, nine, nine, nine. Come out here, what are we gonna get over here? Yeah, exactly, 12, 13. So you wanna, you wanna go ahead and double check your lighting levels when you're doing this. But anyways, that's how this floor turned out. We still have a lot of work to do here. I wanna get that entertainment system worked up and we gotta get this kitchen. So we'll probably get that all finished next time. But then up here, I went ahead and did some loft work. I had two good views to choose from. So we put a um, simple L-shaped couch over here with a lamp. And then over here, we did a nice U-shaped couch where we can like sit here and look out all this great stuff. Like look at those clouds. Oh, it just looks so beautiful out there and then we went ahead and did a large custom bed again using some dark oak using some carpets there for the pillows well guys thanks everybody for watching the show and i hope everybody's had a good time but unfortunately like every good thing i'm out of time so what we're going to do is we're going to work on a lot of these types of details on stream so you guys don't if you haven't caught us on stream yet make sure you take a chance to come out and see us we're streaming every sunday afternoon some minecraft and then sometimes on fridays also guys if you like the video hit that like button and hit that subscribe um we got a lot more work doing the server lots of great projects coming up boy that guy's like looking for a way to get to me so i gotta catch you later this is kimmy say see you guys Bye bye